take two. Hello queens and welcome back. It is Queen of Queen She Me and today I'm going to be coming to you guys with a different video as far as natural hair for I have had some of you guys ask me what kind of foods I eat that have actually helped in actually making my hair grow because a lot of you guys have noticed that throughout 2017 that I have really become more conscious of the foods that I've been eating just because I've just been wanting to be a lot more healthier. I started noticing that my hair too was growing you guys. So today I wanted to share with you guys some of the foods that I actually do eat eat regularly I have a list here of like all the foods and what they're good for all of the vitamins that they carry because you guys I'm not a doctor I'm not a licensed hairstylist or anything like that I had just learned from trial and error and two just from doing a lot of research I'm telling you books research and Google will be your best friend too and helping you have a very healthy natural hair journey so if you guys are interested to find out what foods that I eat regularly and the benefits that they have for your natural hair, then continue watching. Alright you guys, so the first one is pretty much simple. I mean, of course, what would your natural hair journey be if you are not drinking water 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 is so important for just your overall health period it helps to flush out toxins it helps with also keeping your blood able to circulate regularly and also making sure that you're able to absorb nutrients properly and two it helps with you not having dry skin you know crusty lips you know those uh elbows you know what i'm talking about and also to accuse you from having dry brittle hair so if you have dry skin and if your body is really full of toxins and you're not flushing your system out regularly then yes you will start to notice that your skin starts to break out having dry patches or you might have acne breakouts i mean everyone's reactions are different if you are not getting a sufficient amount of water on a daily basis so yes we keep bottled water in our house because i do not like drinking tap water i'm just not a fan of it but if you have a filter or if you just prefer to have bottled water, definitely make sure that you just start drinking water. The first way that I started drinking more water on a daily basis was I wound up purchasing some 32 ounce mason jars and I started creating deep detox water and if you guys are wanting to know a simple recipe on creating your own detox water i'll actually link a video below that i created when i first started use on my youtube channel and it's the sassy water and i used that and i drunk that for a long time as i was on a different health journey at that time and i did lose weight so if you're wanting to know more about that i'll link it below but water is so important you have to drink water it is your natural hair's best friend it is your body's best friend it is your overall health's best friend so yes figure out a way for you to start incorporating water no lot of people are not water drinkers which I understand because we're so accustomed to having sweets or having anything that has an acidic base to it and if you're like me you just do not care for sodas or anything carbonated then yeah you're more of a juice fan but still you have to make sure that you're drinking water and once I started learning that you guys I'm telling you my skin started to clear up my digestive tract started acting a lot better I'm telling you my hair started acting a lot better as well it wasn't all dry and brittle because believe me when I first went natural yes I did go through a period where my hair was dry but not excessive but once I started drinking more water all that changed so yes definitely make sure that you're drinking water and y'all I said all that and I'm thirsty Whew. I'm telling y'all I carry one in my purse I keep one beside my bed at night I get up in the morning drinking water before I have my morning tea I'm telling you water is life get you some water Okay, so the next thing that I know a lot of people um, love and enjoy that um, is another health alternative are smoothies. And y'all, this is the reason why I'm filming this right now because coincidental, we went to um, Tropical Smoothie Cafe today at the work. This is not sponsored, by the way. And um, yeah, we went there after work because Alexa was having a sweet tooth. And so I was going to stop and get something else, but we was just like, why not just go here? It's a healthier alternative. I'm telling you, it is so good. So, no, you don't necessarily have to go to a smoothie cafe, but smoothies are a good way to help incorporate, you know, um, healthy vegetables and fruits so that we can get your nutrients and vitamins into your system so that way your body can absorb it and help with actually promoting your hair growth. 
So I'm going to share more about vitamins and stuff once I get into the more detailed foods that I eat regularly so that way you guys can understand. But this smoothie that I have today, this is their um, green detox smoothie and it has spinach, kale, um, pineapple, mangoes, apples, and it has fresh ginger in it. I think I left something else out, but yeah, you guys, this is so good. Um, Alexa got the acai berry booster one and the first time I started going to Tropical Smoothie Cafe, I got that one. So freaking good. You guys, I love greens anyways because they have a lot of vitamins in them. And it's just, again, a good way for you guys to just get that quick intake. So if you're not one who likes to have kale or spinach in like a salad or even on the side cook, try it in a smoothie. You guys will not regret it. And just try to incorporate some of the good sweet fruits or vegetables in there. Um, that you would like to have in your smoothie so that we'll be able to actually enjoy it which will help you to want to actually keep drinking smoothies so y'all I love this stuff so I got my list here of foods that I eat regularly and <laughs> y'all i'm trying to remember who it was that asked me to even film this but honey i will leave your name right here i'm bad with screen names i'm just bad with names period you guys and i'm sorry foods for hair growth these are the foods that i eat you guys regularly and on a regular basis so i'm just gonna go in my list that i have here and i do have some you know meats that i'm going to talk about at the end but um we'll talk about more of that again at the end of the video so okay to start off with oats you guys know i love oats i love rolled oats i love oatmeal that is just like one of my favorite ways to just make sure that i get my fiber um on a regular basis so that way i can make sure that you know that you're having a good bowel movement you know regularly because a lot of people do not realize that if you do not have fiber or if you're not incorporating greens or something into your um you know your food and what you're eating you will get constipated if i'm just going to be straight honest with you guys so oats are extremely beneficial because they help to maintain the natural color of your hair which i did not know you guys so i mean i just did my research and i found that out oats also aid in creating melanin so yes y'all who doesn't want the melanin to be popping so yes we're gonna need more oats in our life <laughs> and then it also helps prevent hair loss it also contains minerals such as potassium phosphorus magnesium and iron which boost your hair growth so you guys I eat oats regularly if they're not in the form of like a cookie or some form of cereal or even granola which a lot of people don't realize that granola is nothing more than oats <laughs> so get you some granola put it in your yogurt yogurt is actually good for your actual hair growth as well that's on my list which we'll talk about shortly but oats are really good you guys so I do have an oatmeal bowl and a vegan pancake recipe here on my channel and I'll leave a link down below as a matter of fact I'll just link that playlist down below for you guys to check out so another food that is really really good in promoting hair growth you guys are leafy greens as i just stated so with the smoothie you can't beat that so if you're again not one who likes collards kale um spinach you know or anything green and leafy like that i suggest that you try to get it in a smoothie format so that way you'll be able to enjoy it that way because i'm telling you you will get that <laughs> pack of nutrients all day long with just pretty much eating some leafy greens and we eat greens some form of greens on a regular basis and Alessa calls me a rabbit <laughs> y'all I'm telling you I love salads I love anything leafy it's just so good and fulfilling greens are very 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 high in iron if you guys are not aware of that so if you're like anemic I would again you know try to incorporate some form of greens into your diet because again I love kale but I really do not care for spinach in my salad I would prefer it in a smoothie or in some other format but to just have raw green spinach no that's just not my thing <laughs> well iron is very high in content in leaf and greens and it also aids in the absorption of nutrients if you guys were not aware of that so a daily dosage would be enough to transform your hair from brittle to nourish within no time so i didn't know that either so again try to incorporate leafy greens again they're good for you guys they're packed in a lot of vitamins and nutrients and again like if you're a, like me you know african-american you guys are familiar with collard greens turnip greens any kind of form of greens like that you can even have them in a salad even if you just like massage them in some kind of oil of your choice you can definitely have it that way so if you like salads and you're already on the right track i would just probably just try to eat a little bit more of like the darker leafy greens um versus just a regular you know romaine lettuce or something like that try to get something that's like really dark and green in color 
right, you guys. So next on the list is almond milk. And you guys know I am a fan of almond milk. The reason why I drink almond milk is because I cannot drink regular milk. And I have not <laughs> drunk regular milk, honestly. Just like on cereal um, in like years. But when I go to Starbucks, I now get it with almond milk. So I didn't know that they would steam the almond milk for you. So if you didn't know that... They will steam it for you. Um, yeah, so I started doing that versus just regular whole milk because even that way in my coffees, it will still upset my stomach a little bit, but not as much because they're not using so much of the actual milk in the coffee. So I started using almond milk. It tastes so good. It's so full of flavor. And almonds to me just have a natural sweetness anyways. And they're just so good and delicious. Okay, so almonds. Okay, pretty much nuts will help to make your hair grow faster and it's and thicker due to the high content of biotin. So if you take biotin pills, that's a good way. But honestly and truly taking pills formats or anything like that, you're really not going to get the same amount as you would in just the natural state of some form of food. So if you like almonds or nuts or anything like that, I would just try to get something like that. Um, I know I have a bag of them in my cabinet and you can just take a handful of them put them in a snack size bag and take them with you it's also a healthier alternative for a snack as well so if you're like hungry or on the go and you you know haven't had time to stop and get you something to eat or you know your kids might be getting hungry give them an almond or something because i'm telling you they're so good um i know we grew up a lot i mean for us we ate nuts all the time so it wouldn't hurt so again almond milk is really really good um you guys will notice too that a lot of these natural hair care products too are now incorporating almond milk you know almonds and jojoba anything that's natural into these hair care products because they know that it actually does help with the benefit of your natural hair pay attention you guys <laughs> okay so another one is tomatoes and i really didn't even think about tomatoes as a part of this list for foods for hair growth because i just never even thought about it and we eat tomatoes all the time quite regularly so after researching, tomatoes are rich in lycopene. Lycopene is an essential antioxidant which helps maintain the collagen on your body. This in turn is good for nourishing the hair and it promotes shiny and healthy hair. So I did not know that. So that's probably why my hair has been so shiny because we do eat tomatoes and a lot of our recipes we cook um, tomatoes in it. Even if I get a salad, I have tomatoes in that as well. I'm not a tomato juice fan. I'm not, no, I'm, ugh, I can't take that. But tomatoes, period, cherry, grape, you know, you got your heirloom, just any kind of slicing tomatoes. I mean, I'm down for it. And um, yeah, so Alessa loves tomatoes. And um, when we started dating, I really hadn't gotten around to really eating the regular tomatoes like that too often. But over the years, I have come to just love it. And it's, they're just good. They're really, really good. So, bananas. Oh my gosh, y'all. I love bananas. Oh my gosh. I remember as a kid, I would eat bananas all the freaking time. And then when we moved to Florida, for whatever reason, I just stopped eating them. I don't know why. I guess I just didn't like the taste. I don't know. But now, being as an adult, I cannot stop eating bananas. Every time we go to the store, I'm like, babe, can we get bananas? We need some bananas. Like, we need some bananas. Okay, okay. We need some bananas. They are so freaking good okay so bananas contain mineral silica and which is thought to improve hair thickness hmm. and i've heard of silica and i know it can be in some natural hair products because if you actually are reading the ingredients some of the things that i'm going over you will be familiarized with yeah so just pay attention to the products that you use on your hair and in turn again to what foods you're digesting if you guys do not know um Bananas are high in potassium too, so like if you have cramps or stuff like that, bananas are very, very good for that. Um, yeah, and they're so sweet. I like to let mine actually get like super duper ripe, like super duper ripe. And then like I like to add them into like my recipes and stuff like that. Or if I want to use them for like an oatmeal bowl, then I won't let them get as ripened. But I love bananas. They're such a sweet and healthy alternative, especially a quick snack for on the go. And it definitely will hold you because I had a banana, like a big one, like two hours ago. And... That was good, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so strawberries. That's another one. You guys know I love strawberries. That's another healthy alternative for a snack, you guys. Really, really good. I love them. Like, we eat them all the time. I love putting them in my smoothies and my oatmeal bowls. And even in my little yogurt parfait little um, jars as well, you guys. They are so freaking good. Okay, so strawberries contain vitamin C, which aids in collagen. Hmm. So, you know, a lot of people take collagen pills as well. So, if you love strawberries, get you some strawberries, girl. You need to start getting on them, okay? And it will also help to strengthen your hair shaft as well so y'all 
fruits and veggies are life y'all need to get into it because i have really just come i almost have a sense addicted to it in a sense because it just tastes so good and then also i just feel so much better after eating it's not like i'm carrying around a big load or something i, I guess that's the way to so put it so blueberries okay so pretty much we're just in a fruit category there so blueberries y'all i said this earlier they contain antioxidants which are bomb like people do not realize like detoxifying your body is so important and i love anything that detoxifies have antioxidants like literally i even have a blue enzyme mask that i use on my face and i love the way that it makes my skin glow and it gets that bounce back and it just really just helps to balance out my skin overall and they are so good. So again, they are high in antioxidants. They help in defeating free radicals, which is very, very good. That leads to split ends and hair discoloration. So if you're battling with split ends, eat you some blueberries, baby. Please eat you some blueberries because I love them. Put them in a smoothie. Put them on an oatmeal bowl. Put them in a parfait cup. I'm telling you. Or you can just eat them by the hands full if you like me. Sometimes I just go in there and just grab a few and just rinse them and pop them in my mouth and just be out the door yeah so blueberries strawberries bananas you can again incorporate them into like your breakfast foods or like quick snacks or just however you would like to prepare them sometimes i would even put almond butter on my um bananas you guys that is so good so freaking good i'm telling y'all <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're going to keep on riding. I'm telling you, I got a, I got a list, y'all, of foods that I eat. I just want to make sure that I cover everything. So next is whole grains. And y'all, I have just become a whole grain, like, like butthole, if I just put it in, you know, to those terms. Because every time we go to go purchase any form of pasta, the first thing that comes out of my mouth now is, do they have wheat? that's the first thing that comes out of my mouth because i notice how my body processes the pasta differently now because if i just use a regular white pasta it just does something to my system i just i don't know it just makes me super duper full but then i'll be feeling super hungry in like the next few hours so that's why i switched over the wheat and plus two i feel like i can eat more of the wheat based um you know pasta and eat a good amount and not be feeling super duper full but the feeling of my not being hungry will last for a long time. So I don't feel like I'm going to have to eat something again soon. So yeah, try to switch over to whole grains. That's a really, really good alternative. So whole grains are high in biotin along with iron, zinc, and B vitamins. Okay, biotin is required for cell proliferation and plays an important part in producing amino acids. And you guys know amino acids are very important even for our, our stomach so that we we're able to digest and you know break down the foods that we're able to absorb the nutrients and then get rid of the waste yes so it helps them produce amino acids and amino acids are a form of protein you guys and they are required to help your hair to grow so yes you do still need some form of amino acids in your you know even in your gut but as well as like in your system as well you guys so again everything in moderation but you have to also to pay attention to the foods that you're actually putting into your system because they will help with either you know maintaining the health of your hair and your overall you know health or not at all so yeah so carrots oh my gosh y'all i really fell in love with carrots when i started juicing earlier this year and I know carrots were sweet, but y'all, they are super duper sweet. So if you want to get into juicing or even incorporate into your smoothies, carrots are another good one too. So carrots are high in vitamin A. Yes, you need vitamin A. You need a good bit of it too, you guys. And then it also aids in quick hair growth. They also suggest like if you drink um, carrot juice daily, it will really help to like accelerate your hair growth rate. So um, yeah, I'm not really just want to just drink carrot juice but if i'm gonna have it in a part of my juice i'm down for it i'm really really down for it then also helps in the natural production of sebum as well if you guys do not know what sebum is sebum is the natural oil that your hair and skin produce so just like how i'm shiny right now that is sebum <laughs> and it's so healthy for your skin because it helps to make sure that your skin is not dry make sure that it's hydrated and moisturized but if you have too much production of it, it can cause a buildup so just be mindful of that so yeah if you're using oils on your scalp and your hair you know be useful with it but don't overdo it because you can clog your pores and then you don't want that jazz going on up there so yeah make sure that you're taking care of your scalp definitely make sure you again i might even start drinking carrot juice daily i don't know because it tastes pretty good all right, so we're moving on to beans, and I do eat a good bit of beans, but not all the time because let's be real. 
We not around here trying to be stinking up everything. Okay, okay. All right. So I like garbanzo beans. I like black beans. Um, what other beans? I like kidney beans. I hate lima beans, and that's a strong word to use. Hate, but I really do not like lima beans. I have never liked lima beans, so ugh, no. But beans are really, really good, you guys. And beans are also a good way for people who are vegan or vegetarian to get their protein, because a lot of people assume that you get your protein through meat, which is not all the way true. Your fruits and veggies can provide you with the same amount of protein that you need. Okay, so beans, they are a great source of vitamin B6 and folic acid. And you guys know you need folic acid, ladies. If you're going to have a baby, you have to have make sure you have plenty of folic acid. You also have um, magnesium, sulfur, zinc, and biotin. So, look, right there, all out of beans. All of these nutrients help to promote shiny, strong, moisturized hair that grows. So if you don't like beans, you need to start eating some. You just need to find the kind of bean that you like, like I did, because it took me a while, because y'all, I'm not eating a lot of beans. Let's just be real. <laughs> I do not like lima beans. So yeah, I like, again, garbanzo beans or chickpeas, as people like to call them. Um, I like red beans, kidney beans, black beans. So yes, like Mexican food, yes, I'm all the way down for that, because they always give you some bomb beans. Oh, so good so good <laughs> so nuts and seeds you guys of course you know again you can have almonds walnuts pecans pistachios cashews um you know all that good stuff you have flax seeds you can have um chia seeds you can have sunflower seeds it's it's the i mean it's endless you guys but seeds are very good in omega-3s and oh, oh my gosh they really are good so omega-3s are good because they help with actually you know building your hair and keeping it strong just in the sense how omega-3s are good for your heart and helping it to be healthy and for it to function properly and for it to remain strong so yes you guys pay very attention to what it is that you're eating and if you're like me you like to snack and stuff like that get snacks like walnuts pecans pistachios like i love pistachios and it's probably why my hair grew as a child too because we lived in california and we always ate pistachios always ate pistachios i love those i love them they're so good next one and it's one of my all-time favorite and if you're not following me over on instagram i don't know what the hell you're doing because i'm telling you guys i share so much content over on my instagram and i usually share it in my insta stories with you guys because it's just a quicker way for me to share with you guys versus just trying to vlog it then edit it and then get it up so yes if you're not following me over on instagram please follow me over there so that we can see what it is that i do on a daily basis especially on the weekends so you guys i love avocados i never thought i would just be so addicted to avocados the way that i am now like I know that if we go to the egg and I on the weekends, nine times out of ten, I am going to now get the avocado toast. It's just no questions asked. I'm just like, yes, I'll take the avocado toast with two eggs over easy, and I'll take it with a side of potatoes, and bam, that is it. That's all I need, y'all, and I am in heaven. Oh, heaven, I'm telling you. And I just love avocados. They are so good for it. If you guys not know, a lot of brands, they do put some kind of form of avocado oil in their products. So please pay attention to the ingredients on your natural hair care products because they list that stuff on there. You just have to read it. And then two, you guys, they are so high in fats, which is really, really good. You guys, it's a healthy alternative as well. Um, it's filling. They're good for smoothies, salads. Um, again, like I like to have it on toast. You can even put them on sandwiches. I go to um, a market here that, that, that we have, and I get their avocado toast. It's so freaking good. And I mean, I don't get any meat on it, and I'm good. I'm mean, legit good with my olives and my tomatoes on there. Man, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> but avocados, okay. They are high in vitamin E, which improves the blood flow circulation. And if you guys do not know, if you are not massaging your scalp, you are definitely not helping your scalp with the proper blood flow circulation so that we can get that vitamins and nutrients other to your scalp to get the proper blood flow so that we can make sure that it is constantly being healthy and fed all day long. And then two, it helps the follicles to promote hair growth, you guys. So a lot of people will make their own DIY avocado hair mask. And I think the last time I made one of those was actually when I was transitioning. It was a few masks that I tried actually while I was transitioning that were DIY. So if you're interested in that, or if you have some ideas or recipes you want for me to try, leave them down below, you guys, because I could definitely do that. But I love avocados. They also help to balance the oils and the pH balance of your scalp. And that, it helps you to avoid clogged 
pores on your scalp and you guys know when you have a lot of product buildup aka clogged pores your scalp becomes itchy it becomes dry it becomes flaky it becomes irritated and when your scalp cannot breathe believe me it's going to let you know that it can't breathe and you're going to be wanting to take care of that asap all right y'all so moving on okay so i was talking about parfaits earlier right and i used to use soy based um yogurt and come to find out you guys it was actually making my facial hair grow a lot more yes y'all y'all know i'm transparent as hell so i have tried to make sure that the foods that i eat are not high in hormones hormones and stuff like that and that's another reason why i stopped eating a lot of red meat and i've noticed that yeah i'm not having to worry about that as often or as bad because y'all your girl face is trying to clip is trying to do its thing greek yogurt you guys i switched over to that and initially um greek yogurt the taste of it it took me a little while to get used to chobani they had the flip cups and that's what sold me on it you know of course it has all that added sugar in there but just that just sold me alone on it so what i did was i purchased the big size container the yogurt container and y'all i have just falling in love with the Alexa likes it. They're packed with proteins. And I mean, any form of yogurt, honestly, is packed with proteins. And I was aware of that already. But it helps with increased blood flow to the scalp and hair. I didn't know that. So, see, I don't know if that's the same for um, soy yogurt or milk-based yogurt. But for Greek yogurt, it helps with increased blood flow for your scalp. So, I'm about that life. I like that. <laughs> and it also contains vitamin B5, which helps with thinning and hair loss so some of you have been experiencing you know some form of hair loss so yeah you guys i hope that the tips that i'm sharing with you guys today are actually going to help you guys with your hair journey but of course again i'm not a doctor i'm not a natural hairstylist and i would highly recommend it if you are having some serious issues with your scalp to go to your doctor so they can help you with that so sweet potatoes who doesn't love sweet potatoes and of course thanksgiving just passed i know a whole bunch of y'all just had a whole bunch of sweet potato pie because i <laughs> I had me a patty pie this year <laughs> and it was good y'all but i love sweet potatoes i love sweet potato fries oh my gosh they are so good so it aids in the shine of your hair and they contain beta carotene and once digested is converted into vitamin a it helps to protect against dry dull hair and it helps promote the production of sebum again your own natural oil so that way you can make sure that your scalp is not dry that is moisturized and hydrated and it's actually helping with keeping your hair follicle healthy so that way it can keep on growing very important okay so yeah you guys and then also to some other orange foods that contain beta carotene because i was researching and they brought that up as well they will be orange in color and they are carrots pumpkins cantaloupes and mangoes and with me living here in florida child we always got mangoes and i love mangoes so yeah so if you like fruits and stuff like that i would try to get them and just eat them fresh um stay away from the dried candy ones because they have so many sugars in that and i mean yes they're good and they're convenient but just get the regular stuff just peel them earlier in the day put them in a the container and take them with you to go honey that's what i do so cinnamon y'all know i put that ish on everything <laughs> I love cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I love to put it on my pancakes, my waffles. I like to just sprinkle it on there, a little dash of it. Cinnamon gives it that flavor, y'all. I love cinnamon, but it aids in blood flow and circulation, which can help to transport oxygen and nutrients to your hair follicles. So freaking important. So freaking important. We want our hair follicles to remain healthy y'all please excuse my hair because i'm washing my hair after this but i'm telling you cinnamon is so important and i started noticing too that when i started using more cinnamon in my foods i started noticing that my digestion digestive tract was a lot better once i got done eating all right y'all so this is it at the ends i'm done with fruits and veggies and all that good stuff and spices and what you can use we are now going to talk about meat okay so i do not i'm just gonna be real i do not eat red meat for real like sometimes i will have a burger if i'm craving it i'm just gonna be honest but it's not like oh every week i'm having a burger like no sometimes it'll be two three weeks before i have a burger now last week i had a patty melt killed it it was good oh i really just you know i eat bacon and it's probably like one slice on a weekend and that's it but for real for real i eat turkey and chicken and i even eat that in moderation if i'm just gonna be even honest because i mean only time i really eat turkey is if it is in the form of spaghetti if i'm gonna actually have turkey burgers 
um and then chicken wise like it's usually baked chicken um fried chicken very rare because i have not fried chicken in years like me frying chickens i'm not sure i have not fried chicken in years but um but um sometimes i will go and eat fried chicken sometimes but usually if i do get something fried it's shrimp seafood something of that sort but if you're gonna have turkey or chicken try to get it in the lean format which that's how i would actually be eating it and it also helps with your protein deficiency and health and hair growth so again if you're having hair growth you guys make sure that you're having enough protein in your hair regimen now i know if you're not eating enough foods that have the proper amount of protein you can use protein treat protein treatments for your natural hair just be mindful of that be careful with how much protein you're putting on your hair but again turkey and protein they can really help with your protein deficiency if you're experiencing any kind of hair loss so shrimp shrimp contains a good portions of vitamin b12 and you know a lot of people take the pills or even take the vitamin b12 shots um it's good in iron and zinc as well if you guys are not aware of that three of those together they can help with preventing your hair breakage so i didn't realize that you guys i mean because i do eat a good amount of seafood especially shrimp so that's good but you know again too seafood you have to eat that in moderation because of the sodium content because again you're coming from the ocean <laughs> all right so salmon that is one of my favorites so if i go to a restaurant and i'm wanting a fish um uh, i'm usually not going towards a white fish like how i used to because if i eat white fish i want it fried but if i just want to just actually just have like a fish you know entree for dinner i will order salmon so freaking good and if you guys are not aware and i was already aware that they are high in omega-3s um, I learned a lot too about seafood as well because I used to actually work you guys at a seafood market. Bag of seafood up baby, I get it clean for you and get you on out the door out your way. <laughs> get you on on your way. So yeah, I mean like I've worked a lot of jobs and I've learned a lot of things along the way so that has helped me too with like my health journey as well you guys. So yeah, salmon, okay, they are good with vitamin D and protein and again they also contain omega 3 fatty acids that promote hair growth by keeping your scalp healthy. So yes, I would probably say that I eat salmon probably like two to four times out of the month. If I'm just going to be honest, shrimp I would probably eat about the same two to four times out of the month. And chicken, I would say probably about two, four times out of the month. It all depends. But honestly, nine times out of ten, I'm eating some form of fruit, veggies, and seafood. That's really what I'm eating. And the last thing is eggs because y'all, I used to be a big egg fan. I used to eat like two, three eggs a day. You can tell me nothing. I was going to have my eggs. Now, I kind of dialed back from eggs because me and eggs kind of have a love-hate relationship. So, yeah, that's why I really only honestly eat it on the weekend, which is only one time a week. So, that's in moderation. So, eggs are a good source of biotin and protein. Now, your sources are coming from the actual egg yolk and not the egg white, which people do not realize. So, if you're wanting to use, you know, an egg as a form of like a DIY mask or if you just want to eat them, period, make sure you're actually eating the yolk part because that's where you're going to get your, again, biotin and protein from to actually help with, you know, promoting a healthy hair growth. All right, so my little Latricia Harrell, she's the one that asked me, you guys. She asked me, can I do a video on how to grow your hair healthy? So this one is in particular is the foods that you can eat to promote healthy hair growth. If you guys want me to do a separate video on like techniques or just pretty much what it is that I do to maintain my hair and keeping it healthy, then I can just do a video like that for you guys. I did do a video like that a while ago, and I'll link that down below it was like probably like a year ago so i will do that one but i really wanted to come on here and do the one for foods for hair growth because i've had a few of you guys ask me that over the year and um when she asked me this time for a video for healthy hair growth tips i was like i got to give it to you guys so those are all of the foods that i eat regularly you guys on either a daily or bi-weekly basis i'm telling you guys if you just eat food in moderation if you just make sure that you're getting your vegetables as far as your fruits as well so that we can make sure that your skin is glowing you can clear your skin up you can make sure that you have a healthy scalp 
And you can also make sure that you're actually helping in the promotion of your hair growth, you guys. I'm telling you, pay attention to what you are actually eating. Pay attention to what it is that you guys are actually eating. I'm telling you, because I was guilty of that. I was just eating any and everything that I wanted because I was hungry. I just wanted something to satisfy very quickly. But once I started really paying attention to my overall health and my lifestyle and just really wanted to just start taking care of me and my mind, body, and spirit, food is one of those ways to help with that. And it will definitely help with your natural hair journey, you guys. I'm telling you. So I am going to finish my detox green smoothie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, queens. Again, I will list all the foods and all the information down below that we just went over in this video so you can refer back to it in future you know times when you're wanting to you know make conscious decisions on the foods that you're going to eat right down below you guys so thank you so much for hanging out with me today queens do not forget to like comment down below and make sure to subscribe by hitting that red button down below turn the bell on so you'll be notified when i upload new content here on my channel and i will see you guys in my